This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Tuesday, November 29th, 2016. Euro dollar. So the euro continues to be very well capped into rallies. This is the weekly chart, and the market is now looking to break down towards that 2015 low, that multi year base at 104.63. Look for a retest of that level over the coming sessions with a break below to open more significant declines, potentially exposing parity. Again, 104.63 is critical support as it represents a multi year low. At this point, look for any rallies in the market to be very well capped ahead of 109. Sterling dollar. So cable is in the process of consolidating off the recent 31 year low. At this point, while the market holds below a previous base in the 128 area, the pressure remains on the downside, and there is still risk for another drop back towards and below those recent lows that we saw down around the 120 area. At this point, only back above 128 would take the immediate pressure off the downside. Dollar yen. Dollar yen is in the process of correcting after seeing a surge in recent days with the market trading all the way up just shy of 114 thus far. Overall now the structure has shifted to be more constructive and so any pullback should be very well supported. However daily studies are still overbought and there is risk for additional declines before we see the market look to put in the next higher low and that fresh upside extension through next critical barriers at 115. Ultimately look for any setbacks to be very well supported by previous resistance now turned support. 107.50. Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss has now broken to the downside after taking out a multi week range between roughly 108 and 110. This leaves the market now adhering to some previous resistance. Now, previous support now return resistance to the 108 area in favor of the next lower top and fresh downside extension towards a retest of that 2016 low from June at 106.24. Aussie dollar. So Aussie has seen a bit of a bounce out from recent multi-day lows, but overall the structure continues to favor looking for lower tops and to rallies ahead of that next major downside extension. A recent break below 7420 was a significant development and should pave the way for that next downside next major downside extension towards key medium term support, which comes in the form of that 7145 low from back in May. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD is seeing a bit of a correction in recent trade, but overall the structure here remains highly constructive with any setbacks expected to be very well supported in favor of that next higher low and fresh upside extension beyond recent highs, just shy of 136 and towards the 140 area further up. At this point, ultimately only back below 130 would really compromise the constructive outlook. Kiwi dollar. So although we've seen a bit of a bounce in Kiwi after the market recently broke down below critical psychological barriers at 70, the market remains pressure to the downside and rallies now should be expected to be well capped ahead of the 73 area in favor of that next lower top and fresh downside extension below next key critical support which comes in at 69.52, that's the low from July. At this point, only back above the 73 area would really delay the immediate bearish outlook. SPX 500. The S&P 500 has broken up to uncharted territory, taking out the previous record high that was seen in August, just shy of 2200. And this break takes us through 2200 and exposes a potential move up towards the 2250 to 2300 area. At this point, we would initially see, need to see a close back below 2180 to take the immediate pressure off the top side, while a break below 2100 would be required to suggest that the market is still put, looking to put in a longer term top and could see an acceleration to the downside. Gold. So gold has seen some intense setbacks in recent trade with the market pulling back all the way into the 1180 area, trading down really to as low as 1170. But if you could look back at this chart going back, this is a weekly chart, a few years, you can see that there was some significant internal support in the 1180 area going back to 2013. And so setbacks here could be limited with the market still carving out a longer term base and looking for that next higher low ahead of a fresh upside extension, eventually back through those 2016 highs at 1375. Really only a close below uh, recent lows that we saw, well, lows back in 2014 around 1130 would compromise the constructive basing outlook for gold.